Hi friends, I'm Olga Kölsch and welcome back to my studio. Today we're gonna talk about mistakes when painting roses or other flowers and there of course many many mistakes could happen but the most important question what to do how to fix it is it possible to fix anything let's have a look the first mistake i uh, see a lot of times is then <laughs> difficult to recreate then the rose is too ornamental i mean when the all the brush strokes are the same it's almost the same length almost the same distance um, like this maybe I slightly exaggerated but that's the point it's too ornamental it's kind of fun but it's not artistically pleasant it's not catchy what we could do in this case we could take a clean dump brush and soften some edges, fill in the gaps in between. Not all that uh, will make a big mess, but some edges, especially which are look um, wet for now, if you soften them just a little bit and add some dashed lines in between, that already looks a little bit nicer. Some dashed lines. So the idea is to avoid this ornamental feeling because we are not painting the um, stylized folk roses we are painting artistic roses and that's what's all about artistic okay i think that's slightly better maybe some more fluffy edges around this is <laughs> another um, mistake i see then you paint, it usually happens when you paint with too wet um, watercolor and you try, uh, you shape, you shape your rose and at the end it's a big blob. Just like this. And especially even if, if when it is a very round blob. Mm, also could be fine. I saw sometimes it in designs and in patterns, also possible. <laughs> uh, but there, we, uh, there is also a way to improve. And first thing, if it happens when you paint, uh, when your watercolor is still wet, you could add some dry color, dry product in some areas not on the top of everything just in some areas with sea strokes tip of the brush belly of the brush tip of the brush that's how we create a little bit of volume and the next thing you could do is to wash your brush clean your brush with tissue paper towel and blot out some color that adds a little bit of white areas which makes our rose more dimensional but again be moderate try not to blot out all the all the flower just some areas and after it is completely dry you could add more of texture 
more of strokes around to create to make it more interesting more multicolored although i paint just with one color it has a feeling of different shades in it and the last um I mean, there could be much more many mistakes, many more mistakes, but one of the very popular, let's say, when um, somebody paint petals or leaves like this outline, and then try to um, color in the petal or leaf it could be a leaf also um, it usually comes uh, when you um, like uh, these coloring books which are very nice and mind relaxing but we need a bit of different technique here try to paint the petals especially big petals just with the side of your brush so you put your brush and in principle you what's your paint it, you painting a brush strokes no outlines no outlines should be wear and while your paper is still wet it's easy to add some texture some lines and some details thank you so much for watching this video i hope you found it helpful and I hope I encourage you not to give up with watercolor and that many different things in painting could be fixed with just few extra details. See you next time. Subscribe my channel. Bye bye.